You're late, bro. I know, man. I know. You wake me up at 5.30 in the morning and then you show up late. What's up with that? I was. I brought you something that's going to make you happy. What? Is that some kind of bait? What is it? Potato salad. Why do you automatically assume the only thing that makes me happy is food? <laughs> okay. Just that's Japheth. Just hold on. That's Japheth. Just hold on. This is not just any potato salad. Let me tell you what happened. Melanie, now, you've had her potato okay. salad before whole nother level. You ain't had her potato salad when she's put like that extra love into it. All right, she made a video for her channel yesterday and she, walking out the door this morning, she's like, get cameraman Ron to try some and see what he thinks. So All right. we want you to give your opinion. Did you have a fork in your pocket? I always have a fork. <laughs> Did you just pull a fork? Hold on. Nah, you just pulled a fork out of your pocket. I always have a fork in my pocket. <laughs> that's freaking funny as crap. What if I got that's the a that's the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. All right, go, let's let's just hear it, dude. I mean, who doesn't keep a fork in their bacon, pocket? Bacon. All right, bacon grease goddess potato salad right here. I swear, if I didn't have Sarah and you wasn't married to Melanie, I'd do whatever I could. You know how big I would be if that woman was my wife. Her potato salad's amazing, anyways. That right there is where it's at. And I'm not saying this because she's my wife. When I tasted that potato salad last night, I was like, that's the best potato salad I've ever put in my mouth. After you watch this video, go check out her potato salad video. It'll be linked in the description on her channel, Bacon Grease Goddess. See, you, you can have you a woman that cooks like Melanie. You just got to have them t tune into her channel. That's, that's it. That's all it takes. That's it. So, hey, we going to, well, we're bringing back old school today. At least we're going to try to if the wind's... We're going to go try to catch some bridge monsters. You All know, right? just so y'all know, the very first time you and I ever stepped on a boat together, it was at this very spot, and we were going after bridge monsters. It so. was. So, hey, let's go. Let's go catch some bait. We just pulled up here to our little uh, bait spot. We're going to catch us some bait. So we're trying to catch croakers and pinfish here, guys. So I've got a little double drop rig. This is kind of like what you make for snapper fishing. And I've got two hooks, two little bitty circle hooks, two pieces of squid, and a weight. And that's what I'm going to try to catch these pinfish and croakers with. And hopefully, they're biting. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my gosh, did he hang? I thought I got hung up, and he didn't. Oh, look at here. Double croaker. Double croaker. You got, you got your live well going? I do. Let's get that sucker ro rolling. That's what we wanted right here, guys. I'm going to go. This is like the best bait you can possibly have on earth right here. That's a great start. <laughs> if we can keep this up, that's going to be quick, quick uh, bait fishing right there. Because that took about T minus two seconds to get the absolute perfect size bridge monster candy right there. Oop, there's the bite. I saw him take it. I saw him, I saw him, uh, nope, he let it go. I saw that line jump. So what I do is I leave a little slack in the line right here and I just watch it. And when that line jumps, that's when you know you got him. What we don't want to catch while we're doing this is a saltwater catfish. That may be a dang eater size croaker right there. Oh look, no. Now this is also a good bait, y'all. That's a pigfish, AKA piggy perch. Listen to him grunt. They grunt, man. Oh, and guys, I gotta let everybody know. I gotta let everybody know. Ron has officially passed the kidney stone. It's done, it's gone. It was, uh, it was a beast. Should we show him a picture? No. It's pretty, it was pretty big. It was a big, big it was a stone. big kidney stone. Y'all look at this big one right Can here. Can we eat that? Okay. Uh, you are always thinking about food. I no, mean, uh, we're going to catch a bridge monster with this. Well, I know, but I mean, I'm just saying, can you eat a croaker? Yes. Okay. A croaker is actually, fun fact here, guys, one of my favorite fried fish that you can fry up, man. Is They're it similar like to whiting? Whiting, just like say. a whiting. So just. we'll save that guy for last. In case we don't, yeah. That way if we don't catch anything big, we can at least eat him. Well, this is one of those times where you gotta make a decision. All right, we got bait, but the problem that we're dealing with here is it is freaking rough. Real rough. And I don't know if the Mako can handle it. I mean, we put her through some stuff, man. I, I mean, we'll Ron's nervous. I'm not, I mean, a little bit. 
look at the bait we got back here though guys we do have plenty of bait um those are those are big old live baits too so we may catch a bridge monster the problem is we also might sink we also may sink you're right ron good point i am putting a croaker down but it was too rough for us to cross the bay and so we're we're uh we're in some calmer waters here hoping that we can make something happen but i mean dude it was straight taking them over the bow nasty and so what we're doing is let me get the drag set right here at least we got the wind at our back here there he is i don't know if he's on there still but he got, he's taking it he's taking it there he is that's a good fish come on baby oh that's a good one come on come on what is this I thought it was a good one. Now he's not fighting. Oh, that's a, ni a nice trout, dude. Look what a trout. There you go, guys. First nice trout on a live croaker. He just absolutely hammered it. We're going to keep him. That did not take long. I've got a little knocker rig now. We got so much current that I could not get the croaker to go to the bottom. I swear to we left the bridge because the wind was so bad that we're just trying to get on a little flat here and maybe maybe be able to cast we're coming out trying to find some fish oh i just got hit again dude did we just come into a little something here guys this dock right here is in super deep water so i'm pretty optimistic and uh oh i got him there's a good fish there's a good fish i got him that's a nice one he's coming get the net ron this is a big flounder i believe he's fighting just like a flounder yeah we're gonna need the net for this guy right here i believe ron guys i think oh yeah that's that's a flatty netty netty right here see him there we go we don't catch many of these here. That is a flounder. He is legal to keep in the state of Florida. So we are gonna keep this guy and do a catch and cook. You cool with that? I'm good with that, man. I've never had flounder. Well, let's do that, man. We Absolutely. Can roll with that for Absolutely. Sure. You know, sometimes you have to swerve, which is exactly what we did today, don't you think? I agree, man. We had planned to go bridge monster fishing. We had to swerve and that's what we did. Yeah, just normal, kind of slow across the bottom. Check out what I'm using here, y'all. We've just got a white gulp on a white Mission Fishing jig head, 20 pound fluorocarbon. We got the tote, we're back with the toadfish rod today in our pin pursuit, 15 pound braided line. It's gonna get the job done. Oh, there he is, there's a fish, there's a fish. Got him, got him. Oh yeah, Ron, get the net. Get the net. Oh my goodness, that's another flatty. Look at, look at there. Oh yeah, netty, netty. There we go. He ain't a biggin. Are we on a flounder bite? All right, we are gonna release this guy right here, but still, man, I am. Uh, it's a cool fish to catch. All right, guys, we gotta. Uh, we have caught a cool fish to take home and eat but now we're gonna try to end the day getting the inshore slam we are a redfish away from an inshore slam and so that's why i'm working these docks i'm kind of looking seeing if i could sight fish one who knows all right oh i got hit i don't know what that was Something came out and hit it though. <laughs> You're okay. You're good. Perfect. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's him, Ron. That's our inshore slam right there. Nice red. Nice red. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. There's a big one with him too. I'm going to net my fish. There we go. 
All right, there we go. You're good. That is wild. Oh yeah, that's a slot. Come here, buddy. All right, y'all. There is the inshore. Now for the inshore slam, you got to have three legal fish, and that is a 20, almost 21 inch redfish, all on the white gulp. I like it. All right, guys, let's see if there's another one in there. Oh, I just hit the dock. That's not a good cast. All right. Let's see if there's another one in there, dude. If you'd have had a rod out, he was literally chasing. There he is. There's another one. There's another one. I told you, dude. I told you. Oh, that's a bigger one there. That's a big red right there. That is a big red. That's the one we want right there, baby. That's a 26, 27 inch right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't need him. Oh, look at there. That's a 26 incher. Look at all those spots. That is cool. All right, y'all. That is what's called adapting. We came out here this morning, gonna try for some bridge monsters. The wind was wrong. It was supposed to blow eight miles an hour. It blew, blew 15 to 20. So the bridge was out and, and we adapted. We caught an inshore slam. We're gonna take it home and do an inshore slam. Catch, clean, and cook. This is my first inshore slam of the season. It wasn't even expected today. We haven't really been trying really that hard for like uh, flounder or trout or anything, but. But what made this one so cool was it was strictly due to us like calling an audible and yeah. doing something totally different we than did. what we originally we started, did. so. When you clean trout, you definitely have to get that out because the knife will not go through that. Um, we did have to call an audible and we thought we were going bridge monster fishing and it just did not happen. We tried. We tried, but it was just a little too choppy out there for our comfort level. I'm going to show Ron how to clean the flounder. Now, flounder is an interesting fish to clean. As you can see right here, we just made a line straight down the body right there, which is unusual because you don't usually clean fish that way. And then we just open this side right here. We're going to go one side. It kind of makes like a flap on this side. And you look, you can see the meat comes right off the bone there and, and obviously flounder has just an insanely white meat but um, you're gonna get two fillets off of the top and two fillets off the bottom because, I'm actually a little surprised at how thick the, I was not expecting the, yeah. the fillets to be that thick but but if you look at it here we're gonna do the same thing on this side right here okay we're gonna go just like that right down the side of that flounder this is the other side now and then we're going to go we're going to kind of open that up and then you just kind of trace the outside of it just like that and then boom you got you one side of the flounder done and we're going to uh we're going to blacken these flounder are we blackening them? Yeah, let's blacken it all. Okay. You know the only other thing that I clean similar to that is a stingray. Which we are going to do a stingray catch and cook. You guys here. have been so, asking for it and we're going to do it, point. I guess. Instead of just doing a normal catch and cook stingray, I know where some absolute mammoths live. I'm talking about won't fit on the back of your truck mammoth stingray. All right, how would y'all feel if we did a catch and cook with that and invited a bunch of people over? We make like a stew out of it or something? I don't know what we're gonna make out of it, but there we go. Now look at there. That is just some insanely, the, the meat on a flounder is almost transparent, guys. Look at there, that's one side. Beautiful, beautiful fillets, almost transparent. And look at there. You see what I did? Right down, right through the middle, cut it off, cut it off, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the back side. Put the redfish on the half shell on the egg. Put it meat side down first, 
and let it be cooking. And then we'll dump the rest of these on the black stone. What? No. You don't get to show up and eat if you don't show up at 6 a.m. to fish, bro. Hey, Look at this. Redfish. Dude shows up once we got the fish on the black stone. Not here for the cook or catching, not here for the cleaning. But as soon as the cooking starts, the good stuff. That's what I'm here for. What's your side hustle this week? Oh, I'm selling my last house. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we crawled underneath. Don't pay house. them. Don't pay them capital gains. Oh, that's, that's about to hit. Y'all aren't gonna hear this very often. All right, I'm just gonna be honest with you because you know I like to give him grief way more than I like to compliment him because it's just more fun. But your boy over here, we're catching fish this morning. Caught the flounder first. No, I'm sorry. We caught the trout yeah, first. We the trout then we first. caught the flounder. Working for redfish, Brant's like, we're gonna pull the trailer motor, we're gonna roll up here, and I'm gonna catch a slot redfish so we can get the inshore slam. And I'm like, all right, whatever, Let, let's whatever you say, Brant. We roll up to the very first dock he tells me to stop at. Two casts later, he's hooked up on that first slot redfish we caught, and then immediately threw it under there and got it on. So hey, props to you, man. Done, man. All right, there we go, y'all. That, that does look good. All right, there's our. Uh... Redfish on the half shell and the big green egg. Nope, not today. <laughs> you know, Melanie has the same shirt. Really? It's different color and everything. We're having fish tacos, obviously. Here's the little spread for fish tacos. That's the trout, redfish, and flounder. And there's the redfish on the half shell. There's Melanie's potato salad, best potato salad in the world. She couldn't be here tonight. So Let's good. dig in, fellas. That <laughs> looks good. Is the vlog ever coming back? It's coming back. It's coming back, hopefully the next week. I miss the vlog, man. <laughs> like, as a fan, I miss the vlog. I, I, I tell Brent that all the time. We had the bridge out. We had COVID. We had a hurricane. But the bridge is back. We got our bridge back yeah. this week. Did you notice nobody went over the bridge? <laughs> I went over it yesterday yeah. to my wedding. What is this? Cameraman Ron. Wait, hold on. Cameraman Ron Brant Beach Bum. Beach Bum's got to start. He's got to start forking out money for the PO are we box. We paying for the PO box, and Beach Bum's starting to get stuff in it. Beach Bum's getting mail in our PO box. Oh, I just, I just oh, did it. Did I just open it? <laughs> and go. So the first one is from Mike Payne. This is to Ron Brant and Beach Bum. Hey, I want to point something out though. We've had this conversation, but I just don't know if we ever had it on camera. This package, Cameraman Ron. Brand and Beach Bum. Dude, you need to get a cool nickname. I know, I saw like, that. You, you're like, like, it's Cameron <laughs> Ron, and then Cameron it's Brand Ron, Beach Bum. Like, we just need, yeah. Hi guys, love what you're doing with your channels. It's great watching everyone having some real wholesome fun when the chemistry is real. I've been subscribed to Brand and Beach Bums for a long time, and Ron's for about three months. We appreciate that. The next fishing challenge, Beach Bum loses, and he will. Give him this shirt so he can sing the Beach Bum Blues. Thank you all so much for a great <laughs> That's creative. creative. That's good. Mike. That's so good. It's an old 45 record, and it actually yeah. says on it, Beach Bum Blues. Blues. That's, he's definitely getting this one. No, there's one major problem. What? Major, major problem. That's an adult size shirt, it's not, not a kid's. It's not a kid's size shirt. That's true. Beach Bum might not fit in that, but it'll be fun. He could wear it as like a nightgown. <laughs> <when he goes. laughs> I mean, like, uh, yeah. the next one's in a shoebox. Which we are going to open with knives that we also got as fan mail. <laughs> Very careful. Oh, we didn't are those tinsels? Well, let you take it. They're not. The tinsel knife. And guys, this is from Chris Bellinger. Fort Eustis, Virginia? Really? Thank you for your service. Fort Eustis. I was supposed to go there one time. Oh, wow. Is this a challenge vid? What? Oh, okay, okay. We got a letter first. Hold on. Yeah, before we show you guys what this is, oh, this is cool, man. Oh, this is cool. Dude, this is, you gotta read it out loud. For your trips to the landlocked states, hope you like the fishing rod. Big fan of your content, Chris Bellinger. Thank you. Oh, dude, this is, okay, so this is pretty, pretty rad right here. You could, this is like travel. You could throw this in your bag. Like look a at, real one. Oh, look no, at that looks look nice. Look at this, dude. That, that is the looks... ultimate Travel. Like we, got we even got a reel with it too. You know what this would be perfect for? When we go golfing to like put in our golf bag so that we can fish the golf. See now you're thinking this. man. I mean we don't golf but now you're thinking. No we don't golf but that's how we get permission to fish the golf course ponds because it's just. We buy our way in. We buy we act like we're gonna golf. Man you just you just created a whole new video idea for us Chris. That's 
<laughs> That's about to happen. Golf course I fishing challenge. An awesome golf course pond around here. <laughs> Brant's already rolling. No, 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 He's no, done. No, no. He's like, let's go. This pond is incredible. Also, when we go back to Naples, you can catch tarpon out of the golf course yes, pond. We had Naples. multiple subscribers oh, tell us. I actually think that would be an awesome video, dude. We go pay. I'll bring my clubs. We pay to play wait, golf. Wait, you have golf clubs? They're old. I've got a set from the yard, so. Yeah, so, so no, 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 no. I have a golf clubs, too. Okay. Yeah, you're, stop. So, we pay to play golf in Naples. We do a little research, find out the course that has the tarpon. Pay to play golf, slip a couple of these guys in our golf bag, and then we accidentally hit a few balls in the water. I'm with you. And then we fish. But I can't kick you out, you're already paid. That's right. We we paid to be there. We go on a day where it's raining a little bit, so there's not many golfers on the course. Right, dude, I'm down. And y'all, most importantly, if you want to see Yak bring the vlog back, shoot us a thumbs up. Like, 15 of them. I, as a fan, I want the vlog back. Tell this dude to come out of retirement, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. I've been trying, man. I've been trying. Guys, we appreciate you watching the video. Shoot us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Y'all have a great week.